Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb T. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Mekhakala, Russia, Omari Lekak Akhmedov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Misses again with a right punch. Got clip with the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's been cut open after that attack from Omari Akhmedov. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Just misses with the jab there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, that kick is good by Akmedov. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Akmedov. Oh, nice uppercut there. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Not there. Good stick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Back and forth we go here. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Akmedov. <laughs> Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the straight right. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And miss with that jab attempt there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Lands with a right hand. Big body kick. Right hand on point. Oh, that's a nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ahmedov gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Ahmedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ooh, big shot land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, and there's a land with the kick. So certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. That horn sound means we have reached the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match show that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick land. That is a stiff jab. Oh, big right hook, but a whip. What a punch. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Good defense. 
defense to block the strike coming back. Just misses with the jab. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Akhmedov's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Beautiful body kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg form there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Akhmedov. Another knee finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hit to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, bro. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Good punch. Way to hide that leg kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. and it's blocked. Connects with the right. Liver and both guys really throwing with authority. Uh, Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Ashmanov gets caught with that punch. another punch there and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent right at the cut on the eye just making sure he knows that i'm going to be targeting it keep your hands up and when the hands go up he will then change the target down low trying to find finish oh he lands another strike to the body he just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. And they separate. Straight right is there. Big kick. Throws the right hand there. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. So this bears watching, ladies and gentlemen. There's a cut on his eyebrow from that round. Not the biggest cut you've ever seen in the UFC, sure. But the cut man's now got to get in there. 60 seconds now to close that thing up and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Yes. 
such a fast leg kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Great punch. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Unable to connect with a right hook. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' score. He's clearly winning the fight and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Punch lands over the top. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Take him down. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice body. but it's no good. Unable to land with that punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Wild swing there. Real sneaky body kick. Medov's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught this. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Medov going for the head kick. He misses there. Nice punch lands over the top. Straight right hand, no good. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. with these ground and pound strikes here and if the opponent you've got to intelligently defend and the referee's going to stop
All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Head kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Slip and counter by Ahmed. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, late in the fight, it clearly it's been a dominant performance. Oh. Over the top, the fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high in the court, but low. Now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Oh man, head kick land. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike and very effective with it. Oh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Ooh wee! Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Flush right hand is true. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes much size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. You're okay. You're okay. gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will yeah, need to make some on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under two minutes to go. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Just out of range with that strike. Flips the left hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice punch by Akmedo. Big leg kick land. Akhmedov going for the leg kick. He does not connect. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Akhmedov's right torso started to bruise pretty good here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 45 seconds remain in the round. Big punch land. Ooh. Back and forth we go. Nice 
leg kick land. 20 seconds left. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And there comes the separation now. That's a big strike right there. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Akmedo. Nice kick there by Lee. The right hand just misses. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Let's go. score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Kickboxing chops on four. Oh! Whoa! He's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. <laughs> Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Akhmedov gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this move. Go finish his fight. That kick blocked by Akhmedov. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision, or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Just misses with the kick. Oh, nice, nice right hand. He lands the head kick. He's drunk. He's hurt bad. Oh, he got him. He got him. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 
Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Close guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Well, that body. Oh! He's out! He got him! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. 